Hi, juniors and parents. Thanks for tuning in to learn more about college and career planning. Um, our goal at Charlevoix Middle High School is to help all seniors have a next step plan in place before they graduate. Uh, we know that any training or skills that they can acquire beyond high school will be valuable for their future employment and also to earn higher pay. Uh, what are the options? Military, which offers on-the-job skill training, and you can often earn college credits while in the military. Um, I recently went to a workshop and learned that the branches are different from each other, so it's important to talk to a variety of recruiters to learn more about which branch might be the best fit for you. Students going directly to work. Um, many of the manufacturing businesses and other places will train students, um, train their workers on the job. We have trade school as an option where you can go and just specify in a certain area. For example, the Industrial Arts Institute in Onaway focuses only on welding and Students can take a variety of classes and earn a certificate. Community college, you can earn a certificate or associate's degree in a specific field, or you can take general education classes to then transfer to a four-year university. We have many students attending North Central Michigan College in Petoskey, Northwestern in Traverse City, Another popular community college for our students is Grand Rapids Community College. Private or public college or university where you can earn a bachelor's degree or beyond. It's needed for some professions. Um, popular colleges uh, for our students have been Michigan State, this year University of Michigan, um, Grand Valley, Northern Michigan University, a lot of great options out there. What can the juniors do today to prepare? Uh, try to finish classes strong. I know it's a challenge, especially as the weather gets nicer. Um, explore your interests, interest um, using Zello, which I'll cover in just a minute. Take time to practice Khan Academy, just 10 or 15 minutes a day, um, or sign up or practice for the ACT. Some students might be better at one test versus the other, so it's a nice thing to do if you can take both and compare. Our SAT has been rescheduled for fall in October. Um, students can take it multiple times. Um, we know that some colleges aren't requiring the SAT or ACT at this point, and I can talk more about that later. Uh, make a list of possible careers that sound like a good fit um, and how much schooling is required. I think it's important for students to say, this is what I'm interested in, here's how I get there, instead of saying, I need to go to college for four years for something that they're unsure about. Visit campuses virtually um, and then contact the admissions representatives. Uh, they're still working and will Zoom with you or answer any questions and get some good one-on-one -on -one time with them. Zello is a resource that all students have access to in their quick look up through PowerSchool. Students know how to get on and it's not utilized as much as it should be. It's a great resource, resource for used as a matchmaker. You can search colleges, all different careers. You can um, read interviews of people in that profession. You can find out if it's in demand or not. For example, this electrician job, it says the average salary, and that's in Michigan, uh, the training required, and then whether it's in high demand or not. You can also take a look at your learning styles through Zello. You can save all your goals. Um, you can search career just by pathway. Um, just a great resource that I highly recommend. Uh, parents, if you haven't asked uh, or seen your uh, student on this website, I highly encourage you to have them log on and, and show you um, a lot of valuable things. We're going to focus now on the steps uh, for applying to college. 
and that's going to be our focus uh, from here on out. Um, I know many students are at different levels. Some of you might have had older siblings that have applied to college, so uh, your parents are pretty uh, in tune with what's going on. But some of you are first generation, and it's really important that you know the steps on how to apply. So the first step would be to choose four to five colleges to apply to. And I always say Halloween is a good goal, especially if it's a highly... Um, if it's the college is a little bit more restrictive or harder to get into, you definitely want to get your application in early. Um, things to consider when you're looking at colleges. The cost of attendance. All colleges are required to have a net price calculator on their website. They don't necessarily advertise that, but you can search it in their, in their search bar, and that should give you an estimate of how much it would um, cost to attend. Um, sometimes they don't include scholarships, but it gives you a, a somewhat of an idea. Other things to consider is how far do you want to be away from home? I know with the COVID situation, uh, some people are choosing to stay a little bit closer to home as of now, but hopefully you won't have that concern. Uh, what's the population of the school? I often hear kids say, I want to go to a big school, when in reality, any college is going to be bigger than Charlevoix High School, so just remember that. Does it have my major? I know you may not specifically know what you want to study, but if you do have an idea, you should see if they offer that as a major and speak to professors uh, via email or phone in that department. Also, you want to ask, can I get into this college? Should I use my test scores? I usually recommend students apply to one or two what I call REACH schools. And that would be colleges that they may not be able to get into, but it doesn't hurt to try. One of the changes with this COVID situation is colleges are really recruiting and they need students uh, financially, so they might have slightly different criteria for getting in. Step one continued would be then to fill out the application online. You go to the college website. Uh, North Central and Petoskey will take just a few minutes to fill out and it's free, whereas some will take days to complete because you need to write essays and get recommendations. It's a lot more involved. Uh, if you are applying to a multitude of colleges, you might want to check out the Common App, and that is one application for many colleges. However, there aren't very many in Michigan, so you want to first look at the Common App website, see what colleges they uh, have included in their program, and if it's not more than one or two, um, I certainly would just go ahead and do apply to the regular college website. Uh, some may have an essay requirement. You want to make sure that someone reviews your application and checks over your essay, whether that be Mr. Conway, uh, myself, a parent. Make sure someone's reviewing your essay. That could be really important to the application process. Step two would be to send your transcript. Uh, all of you will be signing up for parchment.com. It's a free way to send tr your transcripts electronically. You can also send one to yourself if you need it for scholarships or if you're trying to be eligible for the NCAA. Um, look, on, look for upcoming emails with steps on how to do this. Uh, step three is to pay with a credit card. So you have to apply, send your transcript, and pay before they'll process your application. Uh, make sure if you are free or reduced lunch, you can ask me for a fee waiver and you won't have to pay the application fee. <coughs> Step four is to file the FAFSA, which is at FAFSA.gov, and we'll have more information on this in the fall. Um, this is not something you need to do until after October 1st of, next, of this coming year. Um, everyone should file a FAFSA. It's really important if you want to, uh, if you need a student loan, if you want to be eligible for certain scholarships, regardless of your income, it's a good idea to fill out the FAFSA. It can make you eligible for Pell Grants as well. 
Um, tuition incentive program, always like to highlight this. If you've been on Medicaid at all, um, you could be eligible for up to two years of free tuition at any community college in the state. Uh, I will contact those people individually that are on my list uh, from, the, from the state. But if you think you might qualify for that, really important that you get a hold of me and make sure you get uh, the paperwork needed. Scholarships, some are competitive. You might need to go on campus for uh, a day and interview with the faculty. Uh, some are automatic, meaning merit-based. Uh, for example, if you apply to Ferris and you have a 3.8 grade point average and a 1,200 on your SAT, you might be able to get $4,500 a year automatically taken off of your bill for four years. So you have to look at that. Um, you can get athletic scholarships. And then local on our website, we have a list of scholarships, and they're also in the counseling office. Those are pretty much not due until fall or winter of next year. But if you are gung-ho about getting some scholarships and want to work on it now, you can go to a national website like Go Mary or Capex and you know create an account and apply for national scholarships. It doesn't hurt for sure. Step six, um, you'll get an award letter from those colleges that you've been accepted to. Uh, either in January or later, um, and they'll have the cost of attendance. What you want to do is compare with all the other colleges that you might have applied to and gotten accepted. Um, and then typically you need to let them know by May 1st if you're going to go there. This year they've changed it to June 1st. But typically May 1st is when you kind of need to make a decision. Uh, step 7 uh, is when you register for your housing if you're going somewhere where you're living there. And then also, um, if you need to sign up for orientation. Um, so you'll accept your financials by May 1st. You'll schedule with the college. Um, it's really important you check deadlines. Parents are not emailed this information. So the student needs to share and involve the parents so that you're, you're not missing deadlines. Really a key thing. How have things changed? Uh, one of the things that changed in December, uh, recruiting. Colleges used to quit trying to get students, current seniors, after May 1st. They assume that they have committed to a school, and so they, at that point they need to leave uh, students alone. In December, that changed, and now colleges can recruit up till the start of the year. So even if you've committed to, say, Western Michigan, for example, and Albion really wants you to attend their college, they can continue to reach out to you and try to convince you to go to their school. So that's different. Um, that just changed. Colleges are really struggling financially with having to send students home and the uncertainty of how many students will attend in the fall. This could be a good opportunity for you because they might be giving some extra deals with financial aid and scholarships because they want, they need to have students on their campuses. So it could be a positive thing for this junior class. Testing requirements, I know some of them are waiving those. You might want to consider sending your test scores anyway because it will make you eligible for more scholarship money. And uh, where students are going has changed. Um, many students are staying local, or if they, their college that they plan to go to for this current senior class is all going to be online, they might switch and go to a community college at that time. Some people are choosing to take a gap year. Um, so you kind of have to see what you and your family decide is best moving forward. The economy has been hit. Obviously, by the COVID situation, college funds are limited if you, people have been saving, people have been unemployed, and so the thing that you might want to consider is cost of going to college and also what are you going to major in and try to find a career that you can actually get a job when you are done. So it's a big investment to go to college. You want to make sure it's worthwhile. A great resource for parents that I kind of feel is a great way to get the inside scoop 
on what college admissions are thinking is called Inside Higher Ed. It's a weekly email that comes out that I think you can sign up for. Just to review, um, we explored some options. We looked at the application process, then you send your transcript, you pay, file the FAFSA, work on scholarships, review award letters that come in and I can help with that or a new career and college advisor that we're getting since Ms. Schroeder is uh, leaving. And also then you would sign up for housing or, or orientation. I'm available anytime via phone or email. Uh, that's my contact information. I would love to hear from all of you. And if we need to set up a Zoom or phone conversation to talk about this further, we can. But just know that um, we have time. You have time to figure things out. Now is just a great opportunity for you to just do some exploring and try to learn more about yourself. So thanks for joining in, and hopefully everybody has a, a great rest of your week.